Ken, are you interested in spending a million dollars? Heck yeah! <laughs> it sounded like a no. What are you talking yeah. about? Ooh, my savings. Oh god. <laughs> Why live in a house when you can live in car for a million dollars? Wow, what a deal! Is it that bad? A million yeah, dollars pretty... to live in a bus? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's bad. You're right. You're it's right. Pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll see. Maybe this will change your mind because we're touring the, the most futuristic, futuristic motorhome in the world. Woo! Yeah. This one's actually cool. I've seen bits. Luxurious motorhome built by Dembel. And on the back, we have a full size garage so you can Bruh. take your personal car. <laughs> Bruh. It has a car a inside the car. And inside oh. that car is another. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love the full size garage. They got like the mini fitting in there. That's cool though. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, it beats having like a trailer or whatever, or the little thing where you like tie it to the back of the motorhome or whatever it is. And you're pulling Actually, it down the wouldn't that be easier? It would. It, it would. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not as cool. <laughs> massive it barely fits in the road look at <laughs> yeah i was just gonna Huge. say yeah can you actually drive that on roads it's bigger than buses <laughs> it looks like it takes up the entire road here i think it does well that's the thing though like you've driven bigger vehicles right yeah 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 you're american of course but mm -hmm. if you have a big car, you'd think it's like, oh no, I have to like be so careful. It's the opposite. It's like you, you, you fucking stay out of my way. I am I'm driving a one million dollar bus. Move aside, <laughs> yeah. peasants. Yeah. But it is like that. Oh man, that reminds me. You know, sometimes people tail tailgate you. Is that what it's called? Yeah, and you kind of feel bad because you're like, oh, I should probably speed up, but you don't really wanna at some point, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? And I always feel like, oh, what a, all right, what do you want? And then you look behind you and there's like three cars and you're like, fuck. But if you have a big vehicle, I don't give a fuck. For some yeah. reason, whenever I drove like vans and stuff like that, if there's a big line, I'm like, oh, all right, too bad, guys. Sorry. And yeah, whatever. You look back, you're like looking over the top of them. What you do, though, Felix, when you like look into your rearview mirror and all you can see is like the BMW symbol. And that's it. And they're like right on your tail. Slam your brakes real quick and collect some insurance money. Easy. Got it. <laughs> okay. That's how I made all my money. <laughs> it comes out! Uh, missiles! <laughs> Someone going too slow? Fire the missile! <laughs> so fancy. Wow. Look how tiny the registration plate is compared to its so big. <laughs> His binoculars out and he can see the next town over. <laughs> The grill looks so mean too. It's like a like a alien yeah, crater or something. Yeah, very angry face. Right. First thing I want to mention: this motorhome is built on a Mercedes Actros chassis. You have a 12.8 liter engine V12 that gets 530 horsepower. And check this out, Mikey. This vehicle does 11 and a half miles per gallon, even though it weighs 26 tons. Is that good, Ken? I don't know. I mean, maybe for the size of that thing, it's great, but you know, you're not going very far. <laughs> you're not going, yeah, I figure. You're gonna be paying so much in gas, golly, you fill that so, thing up, ridiculous. Yeah. That's crazy, what a Hummer does eight or nine miles a gallon, right? That's right, so you compare it to a Hummer, <laughs> the worst gas mileage in the history of any car, you're gonna oh, compare it to it that? Really? <laughs> yeah, setting the bar low, wow. <laughs> it's just, the motorhome looks so modern and elegant and we're used to seeing a lot of motorhomes that are a little bit more let's say old school Is that air conditioner it's not the i think so Dude, oh, the nice. thing looks like any motorhome i've ever seen they all look like boats stupid the case Dumb. here and check this out it's so elevated from the ground look at the passenger side here. <laughs> it's higher it's than like him what? how do you That's get in there yeah, it's like climbing a ladder to get up exactly but God damn, you gotta jump down from there. It's like rainy outside and you slip. <laughs> you better break your parachute because you're falling. You're like three uh -oh. cars high. I just imagine like you slip and you fall and it like plays like the sad music, but it just you just fall for so long. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have side mirrors, it has side cameras. And we're gonna show you guys how that works a, on the interior. There's a mirror right beside that, what do you mean? <laughs> Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> is this so wide that it can't even fit side mirrors? That's literally the reason. Like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, probably 100% right. Slide out here that kicks out about 50 centimeters. That's your living room area, and on this side we have two 
folding chairs, custom designed for this motorhome, where you can store it right here. That's your storage compartment that connects all the way to- Damn, the look at all that storage. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That that's has to be more. the kind of storage you get when you spend a million dollars in a vehicle. You get like a little, <laughs> little nook. Below here, Mikey, we have your hydraulic pumps. And right next to that is your split air conditioning unit for the entire motorhome. Super cool. Uh, only thing that this thing makes me think of is the maintenance is going to be insane. <laughs> One thing breaks and you're just, oof. And finding a dude that knows how to work on this thing, holy crap. Right, exactly. That too, yeah. There's a nice cutout for your keypad. And I cannot show you guys this code, but... You wow. can hide away your stairs just that's like that's pretty cool. Wow, Come on. that's pretty Amazing. cool. Hidden stairs. I mean, I was just thinking about how hard he was having to push those keys. He was smacking that thing. I could hear it all the way in the camera. I was actually thinking if you live in like San Francisco or like somewhere really expensive, wouldn't you rather live in this than like the shitty little loft that you will get for that same price? Yeah, right. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, right. Maybe it's not such a bad idea after all. Honestly, what's the generation after us? Because they're going to all live in motorhomes. Or I don't know what they're going to do. They, sorry, you're screwed, all of you. We have this motorized retractable awning system with LED lighting on it the looks steel cool. legs. That looks which cool. Is super unique. Yeah. And above that is obviously cup. Like if someone gave me this, I would take it. I'd be like, cool, thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Can't fit it anywhere, literally. Like, like how would you even imagine thing. going to a campsite with this fucking thing? Like, it would be impossible. <laughs> it wouldn't work. Uh, out there, you know, in Redneckville, where I live, and like, they're all <laughs> out there with their campers, and like, hey, Jimbo, look at that thing. You come rolling up in your Mercedes, whatever this thing is, yeah. rolling it out. They should be like, God, what the heck? They'd probably shoot it. I don't know what they'd do. They'd freak out. and <laughs> Maybe in America it would work, but in the Europe, I don't, I don't know. I would not want to drive this fucking thing. You just get robbed in it. No, but the stairs fold in, Ken. What do you mean? Oh, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Three and a half meters in depth. And on top of that, you have a secondary motorized screen here. Oh, down. That way, God. Let's say you're oh, that's cool. down below here and you don't want to get the sun. Oh, I thought it was a projector screen. Maybe it could be. Hmm. It looks translucent. I don't think so. When the wind gets up to 39 kilometers an hour, it automatically closes up since it doesn't have any supporting legs. Wow. Super unique, right? No, that's standard with those. I mm. actually knew that because I was going to buy one. Not super unique. Okay. Exactly 39 miles per hour. <laughs> A brisk day in the UK. It closes right up every single time. Day. Yes. <laughs> this model has a small so garage ridiculous. where you can park your smart car, which is incredible it's also branded with the same color theme like the yeah, rest of the motorhome no oh, okay. i was gonna say does it come with this i think it does yeah yeah okay Cars. or go to grocery shopping exactly yeah and <laughs> i would love go grocery shopping with that fucking thing <laughs> where would you fit your groceries in that tiny little car they wouldn't fit anything <laughs> oh my fucking god that's slow oh my god oh my god i would never a, use that the serial killers after you you're gonna die mikey it's over with <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Over there. Gotta... I want to briefly talk about the color palette and kind of like the design Bro, elements it's of one this color. motor home. They went with this nice simple white color and that's the signature dumbbell red and black combination right there where we have the glass panels. Can we see the fucking inside already? Jesus Christ. And down below is your 408 kilowatt diesel generator with a soundproof case there. That way, when it turns on, you don't even hear it inside of the motorhome. It has a young vibe to it. You have a Mercedes chassis. You can't really go wrong with that. A young vibe. You know, there's probably a lot of young people riding this thing around. I feel yeah. you know, lots of young whippersnappers out there driving this. <laughs> with their wife. Angry yep. that they had to climb up all those fucking stairs. <laughs> like, oh my God, Why do I got to so Shut up, we might even get many. It's got a diesel <laughs> generator I'm part of America. <laughs> Soundproof, my God. <laughs> you can't hear it. I can still hear the diesel generator. <laughs> he said it had a soundproof chassis, but then the, there's no cover on the bottom of it. It just comes out the bottom <laughs> and I can still hear it. Shut your goddamn mouth, Wep. <laughs> Let's go to the campsite so we can stay and enjoy the nature. <laughs> get in the tiny car. We got to go to the <laughs> go get some gas. We got to get some groceries. Mm. Get the, <laughs> the tiny car. <laughs> And it takes like four hours to get- I don't know, it's cool. <laughs> I'll meet you guys inside. Finally, inside. What do we got? Is it worth it? 
and we go straight into the living room area. Now the interior of this motorhome is stunning that specializes in yacht design and they're- That's it, it's a yacht. Yeah, it's a yacht. Why? <laughs> Can't you just make it normal looking? I feel beautiful finishes, wood clad details, really shows in this interior. Now the first area I wanna cover is right behind me. We have this 50 inch TV and this is your first slide out, Mikey. You even have some upper cabinets here. Of course you're built. Yeah, I wonder what it looks like when it's not slid out. Like how much room do you have when it's all in? I thought it was like, not slid out. It's what? just a cozy area for you to sit down and watch your TV since it's on a perfect angle. Now, in front of the seating area, we also have this table that's currently positioned as a coffee table and you can actually make it adjust it, turn it this way and have it as a dining table as well. On top of that, Oh wow. What's happening? You can lower it. Oh, and no, it's lower and a lot of interesting features in this thing. Correct. <laughs> Dinner's getting cold. Shut up. Me. You gotta <laughs> lower the game up. <laughs> Just 30 more minutes. This direction to your seating area, and obviously when you're looks like they're about to be launched. Like ejection <laughs> <in> seats. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Probably turn the other way around. But more importantly, Mikey, ready? I'm gonna They're gonna get crushed! A tiny bit no! <laughs> Normally you would have these chairs leaning back so you can actually lower this queen size bed all the way down here and that's your additional sleep. Put your enemies there. Well, yeah, gentlemen. You smash them. <laughs> sit down and buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> the cockpit of this motorhome is truly stunning. You have so much space here and visibility is great. I'm currently sitting in the driver's seat. All these seats that we're sitting on all four seats. They are heated, cooled, and massaged. Massaged? Mass While driving? I don't want oh that. Oh my gosh. It feels like you're floating on these. I mean, it's amazing. I'm sure it's super fun to drive this thing around and visibility is great. Drive it then. I want to see you drive it. It was so fun. Do it. Test drive couldn't even stay on the road. Come on. I want to <laughs> see him drive it. Of course, these are soft clothes. Check this out. They have espresso cups branded with dumbbell. That's insane. That's <laughs> literally like three bucks worth. That's crazy. The best part. That is Mikey, the, that is the best part. Look at this. <laughs> Look at these branded espresso cups. Ooh. Incredible. Wow. It's dishware. Everything is actually branded. In fact, I'm going to show more in a bit. Down below the induction. Pulls down pants. <laughs> branded. <laughs> dishwasher drawer. Oh, dishwasher. Oh, why is it like that? That's so cool. You can just like... That's awesome. Why is no one else doing it like that? You gotta like, <laughs> that's so like, good. I guess it's like one level the dishwasher and instead of like two, like you usually get. I'll take one level if I can just throw it all in like it's garbage. Just, just chuck it in like a- <laughs> Yeah. That's awesome. You recognize the branding? Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, the branding on the knife. Oof. Oh, it's branded. Oh. <laughs> I buy it now. <laughs> this cover plate comes off and there you go. You have your modern sink there with a pop up faucet there you go okay nice. that's a respectable sink as a big fan of nice <laughs> sinks it's got a lid on it that's mm. so cool back on another good detail show more of the sink what the f is it branded though is it branded the sink? i don't think so <laughs> and they even utilize spaces like this one to create extra storage now wow, the so much storage part in of there the <laughs> It's like a triangle shape. You can only use like part of it. <laughs> you can put a couple of spices there, I guess. But yeah, that's good. Fridge. Down below, we have the freezer. And that wraps our tour for the kitchen. Now, like the rest of the motorhome, this bathroom. Is that a Japanese toilet? I don't know. It looks like it. With the curved walls, LED lit mirror. Well, what's wrong with the toilet paper? They came up with the toilet paper on the handle for a million dollars? What is it? What is that? It's just <laughs> stuck, stuck in between the toilet and the... This is inexcusable. Oh my God. <laughs> Looks like they've squished it as well. <laughs> Ridiculous. I can't wipe with this. It doesn't <clears throat> roll properly anymore. How am I supposed to like, like, reach around my back to grab that too? What, what is this? Mikey, can you help me with this? <laughs> Mikey, what were they thinking? But the branding on the, on the towel there. Oof. Yeah. Oof. They should have branded the toilet paper. LED lit mirror here for your makeup or when you get ready. Mm -hmm. Heated yeah. towel racks. With you can do your makeup over the towel. toilet and drop stuff in it. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Heated towel Strip. racks are so fucking overrated. They have them everywhere in the UK, but that that's uh, like cool. It's a little hotter than normal. Yeah, you put it on and you're like, ooh, warm, but then it's instantly cold. Exactly. It's not like it doesn't. No, it doesn't work. 
with a massive rain head above. Even your shower head is actually a good size. Yeah, and it's not small in there either. Go, go inside. You're, gonna, you're drowning that thing. The shower head's like the same yeah, size as the whole thing. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and on the back, the you actually huge. have shampoo in edge here with LED lighting. Yeah. When they thought about it, everything. And last part, Mikey, this door right here opens up to your closet for your bathroom. And down below, you have a washer and dryer, which is something you gotta have. Wow. Now, at the end of this hallway, we gotta show this detail. Remedizio mirrored pocketing door. That's I said mirrored nice. because you can actually see yourself. It's like a nice full-size mirror yeah. that closes off your bedroom. Mikey, come Not on. Not hating. Mike. That's cool. Now, this space mm -hmm. is just as cozy as the rest of the motor home. I love the mood lighting that they have throughout around the bed setup. You have two massive windows on each side bringing that light. Oh, that's light. a nice TV Again, right there. Heated. And of course, you have your buck screen, automatic shades, black house, everything you need. Mikey, just like the yachts that we've been seeing, they have the same stainless steel reveal detail around this window opening that looks exquisite dude how many do they have back there jesus christ <laughs> oh all of them no one's bought one yet no one's bought one yet. Back there. <laughs> like i like it i'm not hating on it a little bit but like what would you use it for i don't get it i don't get it maybe you're traveling cross country or something it's, but then you get a tour yeah. bus no is this a tour bus what is it it's a really nice tour bus yeah but it's clearly like built as a camping us with like the cover yeah and... yeah you think this in germany europe would be quite an achievement because most companies won't allow such a big bus or even on the streets <laughs> like yeah it's it doesn't make sense all right ken are you sold one million dollars one oh, oh i need two of them please you get one and mary gets one <laughs> yep let's go on a tour honey yeah you drive yours to drive mine yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's not too bad though. It's kind of cool. If I had a million dollars to burn, maybe that'd be something I consider when I'm you know, why would, eight years but, old. But no, that's the thing though. Like, why, why? Why would you buy it? I don't get it. I still don't get it. It's a cool. It's cool, but I don't get it. Be there's gotta be a market for it though. They're, they made it, and it's <laughs> they make a lot of shit that there's no market for, dude. Like this YouTube video. If you enjoyed, smash like and subscribe. Check out Ken. And see you in the next one. Bye bye. Let me just try something first. Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're talking about online privacy and security, which is a critical issue in today's digital world. <laughs> As you all know, the internet can be a dangerous place. It's important to have protection when browsing online. That's why we're so excited to have NordVPN as our sponsor for this segment. Logo with animation <laughs> into music. NordVPN is the world's leading VPN provider, eh? Side cut to NordVPN animation with information about their features. If you're ready to take your online privacy and security to the next level, then head over to NordVPN.com and get started today. Trust us, you won't regret it. Uh, play the outro music and animation side and a call to action to visit NordVPN.com. That was actually pretty f***ing good. All that aside, I, I love using VPN. I, you guys know NordVPN. And if you switch the end with the P, I'm not going to say anything else. NordVPN is also celebrating their 11th birthday. I don't know why I did it too. And if you sign up with the link in the description, you have a chance to win one additional year for free. But everyone that signs up will get a huge discount on a two year deal. That's where it came in. Plus additional gift. If you sign up during this special time, you can get an additional four months for free. That's NordVPN.com slash PewDiePie. Click the link, say thanks.